Hey guys, this is Colby. Today I'm going to show you how to make the shoulder pads, the upper bicep armor, and the forearm armor. Press T to toggle this little menu here. Go into annotates. Now you can draw on your character. So here I'm going to create just this curved shoulder pad. I'm pressing Ctrl Z to undo any changes, so that way I can just kind of go back without having to erase. So press Ctrl Z, I'm trying to get a nice curve. Looks good. Now I'm going to create the bicep plates. Here I'm going to wrap around the biceps. I'm going to make it a little more, more curved. Wrap around the triceps there. Now I'm going to create a forearm plates. So it's just going to be a single piece. Try to create as many separate strokes as possible. So that way you don't have to undo the whole thing. If you make a mistake, you can make smaller adjustments. Uh, let's see, like that, that's a little bit too big. Try to get checkpoints for yourself. Now I'm going to go to the top view. I'm going to make sure my cursor, my uh, cursor selector, whatever, uh, it's right here on the triceps. So that way I can draw on the top view and have it the annotation be aligned with the arm. So I'm going to top view, press 7 on your numpad, and uh, let's continue annotating. And then we're going to create the shape from the top view. So here it's going to kind of have that same curved look. But make sure it makes sense. This is just a basic design. We're not really going to follow it too closely. We're just getting an idea of what we want the plates to look like when they're on the arm. Create a shape. You know, make sure they're overlapping and uh, make sure they don't clip through each other though. It's important. So here, I'm just going to spend a little more time in the stage and kind of plan out a bunch of better design. But here I'm just going with a very basic design. That's some, something I can do. So now we have the basic shape from the top and front view. So we can go ahead and start modeling the pieces individually. So uh, here I'm going to create a I'm going to go back to box select mode rather than annotate so that we're not drawing on it anymore. But we're going to create a mesh, shift A. I'm going to create a plane. Uh, scale it down. Press G to move it wherever you want. Here I'm just going to move it over the shoulder. Make sure that it kind of looks good in the center here. And then Here I'm going to mirror it. Sorry, I'm pressing a lot of buttons that I don't mean to press, but sorry about that. Press Control R to create an edge loop down the middle and double click twice. Delete one of the faces on the half. Uh, go back to object mode and then mirror it on the Y axis. Clipping on. Now we can go back. We can make changes. I'm going to turn on subdivision surfaces as well. So I press Control 1 just to quickly do it, or you can just go into the modifier menu and add a subdivision by hand. But Control 1 is a shortcut. So we're going to start creating the basic shape from the top view. Now, let's just do that. So here we're just going to. Doesn't need to follow it exactly, just as long as it looks fairly similar. We'll create an edge loop down the middle of this face here, so that way we can create a curve. Let's do the same here. Create a one here again, so that way we can actually create like more of a arc. And we're going to rotate this whole thing down a little bit, so I'm rotating on the x-axis, or the y-axis I mean. And then we're just going to move it back into position. So here we're going to kind of make it look Good from all perspectives, make it look nice and curved. Like that looks good. And uh, make sure the lines are straight. So right here, this one's kind of sticking up a little bit, so we need to match it with these other two. Make sure it's smooth. 
So we're almost done with this shoulder piece. So we're just going to make sure it looks good from the front view. And, uh, make it uh, try to move it down a little bit. So right now I'm, I I kind of use the wrong half. You know, it's better to use this half than the other half for mirroring. So that way you can actually go to top front view. I mean, and uh, you know edit it from this perspective. But you have to go to back view. In my case, just don't make the mistake I did. But here we're just going to move this stuff downward a bit. Kind of align it with the annotation. And move this whole thing up a little bit and scale it. Not too big because it's, it's a little bit large. So um, I'm trying to create as many curves, edge loops. Try to make this a little smoother. So it looks a bit large for this character. All right. So once you're happy with your overall shape uh, and your plane, just making it look, look good to your own eyes. Make sure it looks good. Uh, we can go ahead and move on to the biceps. So I'll create another plane. But uh, instead of creating another one, actually, I'm just gonna duplicate one of these because it's already got all the modifiers we need. So I'm select this face, duplicate it, separate it, P, by selection. And we're going to do the same. We're just going to move it into position and try to match it to our annotation. So see you in a bit. All right, so once you have your biceps, now we can move on to the forms. And uh, here, you know, I just uh, created, I used that plane, and I just extruded around and uh, created an edge loop down the middle here so that way I could give it a bit more of a curve like that but uh, it's not too much though and also did it from the front view make sure it looks good from both uh, front view and just like all around in general but um now we can start moving on to the forms so I'm gonna create a plane again shift D and I duplicate this one move down a bit and I'm gonna separate it and let's see Here, uh, you pretty much get the idea. I'm just gonna match the forearm shape of my annotation. It's a little bit different than I uh, originally planned, but you know, it, it's really just whatever looks good to you. So I'm gonna model, model the forearm plates on my own, and then uh, I'll show you how it goes. And you know, hopefully, you kind of have something that looks cool to you. So see you in a second. So uh, again, once you have your you know, shape for your forearm, once you're happy with it. Uh, we can go ahead and start adding more modifiers to the plates to finish them off. So we're almost done here. So all we need to do now is just add a solidify modifier to each one. Uh, but also uh, something I mentioned, I should mention, is that on the forearm I had to turn off the mirror modifier and just uh, add the edge loops manually because it's a bit asymmetric. The forearm is very asymmetric. But um, that's pretty much all I did for that, if you're wondering. But uh, now we can just add finishing modifiers, so solidify to each uh, piece. And that'll give it a bit of thickness without having to actually add in those phases manually. Saves a bit of time. Scroll down. So it looks a little soft on the edges, so we're gonna have to add some edge loops to finish, fix that. So uh, let's go into edit mode for each one. I'm going to add an edge loop on the edges here. And that'll make it a little bit sharp. Same goes here. Just add edge, loop, edge loops to uh, make it sharper on the edges. Control R, Control R, Control R. Same here. So edge loops, Control R. Just slide it down and then click. So that looks pretty good. So now go ahead and apply the modifiers. Apply, apply. Apply, apply, apply. Again. And uh, I'm going to add a little bit more edge loops to fix the weird shading. So here, control R and then control R. Same here. Control R, control R. And here again too. Just make sure everything looks nice and sharp. 
clean edge. So we're gonna just make sure it looks good from all perspectives. And that looks good. So we're very basically done. Uh, all we need to do now is just add a modifier to Murits on the uh, actual base mesh. So it's symmetrical. And for the forms. Now we've pretty much got our shoulder pads and we're basically done here. So uh, later on I'm going to color these, but not now. We're just doing the modeling aspect and everything looks pretty good so far. And next on time I will work on the shoulder piece, I mean the not the shoulder piece, the chest piece and the abs. And uh, we'll do the same thing we did today. We'll add the annotation just to create the basic shape of like each kind of like the overall shape. And then we'll model it and uh, it'll be a little bit more complex, but it shouldn't be that much harder than what we did today. But uh, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. So, um, you know, if you could leave a like, subscribe, like, it really helps me out right now because I have very little subscribers. And I'd really appreciate it because it's like huge gains for me right now. Uh, but uh, I'm, I'm happy to keep making videos. I hope you guys like these videos. But uh, I hope you guys enjoyed this and I'll see you next time.